White flag in the air one more time around Daytona. Here he comes. They're side by side for second. Two car link lead for Dale Earnhardt Jr. as they work their way through. One and two, and down the back stretch they go. Junior blocking the lower line. Does that give the advantage to the 48? Junior jumps up in front of Jimmy Johnson. To the bottom of the racetrack. Dale Earnhardt Jr. trying to stay in front of the pack. They work their way through three and four. Into the trailer they come. Dale Earnhardt Jr. to the bottom of the track. Junior will win in Daytona. And the big one happens behind them. Oh my God. of Austin Dillon into the catch fence. All the crews getting out to that car to assist these drivers. Thumbs going up from all the crew members and the crowd roars. Now Marola caught those two guys side by side, unfortunately for him. Oh, an aggressive move. Is this going to work? Final lap. The 10 making contact with Suarez. The eight almost goes around, able to save it. That pass for Bowman over Elliott puts him in. And Almarola passing Suarez will eliminate the 42, I believe, as we have a race for the lead on the right side of the screen. 42 drops below the cutoff line. Now the race for the win on the right side. I think Jimmy Johnson, oh, big, big, big red, big red. Amarillo made it through. I think Jimmy Johnson has enough points. He can push the issue right here. We had a lot of people have problems. The fight for the win, the fight for the playoff transfer. He's going to have to come out of this chicane, turn 12. He's going to have to come out of there on the back bumper that 78 to make a move in the breaking zone of 16 and 17. Yeah, I'm sorry, 48 only seven points to the good, so he may he's not there. afford it. But look, he's there. What a great corner. Here they come through the final banked curve at the Charlotte Roble. Now he goes to the inside. Here comes Jimmy Johnson. Oh! Blocks the brakes up. Oh, he's and he's going to slide. He slides through the middle. Truex gets oh, tagged. Now it'll be a fight for the finish line. Ryan Blaney in the 12 will win. He stopped. He came to a full stop to make sure that he was good with NASCAR. Where is he going to finish? It's showing one Short track racing at Martinsville. Four to go. Twenty-four with a great restart. Up the racetrack he goes. Side by side for the lead down the back stretch. Way up the racetrack right goes here. Chase Elliott. He opens the door down below. Here comes Denny Hamlin. Elliott has the lead, but Hamlin looks to the inside. Elliott diving, trying to block. Down the back stretch again. Less than three to go. The bumper to the back of the 24. Elliott goes around. Hamlin takes the lead, and the caution comes out. Get it going. Get it going. If you can, get it. Hamlin surges ahead. Clearly out front, the 18 running second. Truex in third. Now here comes Boyer fighting back on the inside. A little bump there out of the 18. Side by side as they come back to the stripe. White flag in the air. Kyle Busch on the inside. Kyle Busch up the racetrack. He moves the 11 up. Here comes the 78 of Truex Jr. Into the final turns. Martin Truex Jr. has never won on a short track. As he comes out of four, it's a drag race. They wreck behind him. Kyle Busch will win. Yes, sir. Check it. Big wreck on the front you. stretch. And there's the gap between one and two. Kyle Busch. And here comes Larson. Larson to the bottom of the track. Bad job. Trying to take the lead away. Bad job. Almost. The momentum. The 18. Contact. 
they make contact. The 18 in the wall. They're side by side again. Going into three for the lead. Larson has the advantage. Here comes the 18. He puts the ball in the back of him. The 18 into the wall. The 42 sideways. There's Harvick. Here comes the 18. Kyle Busch will win. (laughs) Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my man. What a race. What a great race. That's what it means to win in the Monster Energy Cup Series. The white flag in the air. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Seven turns. He just needs to do seven turns perfectly at Watkins Glen to grab his first career win. He goes wide through turn one. The 78 coming up. Closing the gap. Fans jumping up and down, yelling, screaming, losing their minds here at Watkins Glen. Can Elliott hang on? He's back to two car lengths in front of Truex as they leave the S's for the final time. Almost giving up the lead in turn one, but he's now got another comfortable lead as he breaks into the inner loop. Martin Truex charges hard, trying to gain that ground back. No mistakes by either driver here, but Chase Elliott, a cleaner corner. Now it's about four car lengths there through the carousel. Chase Elliott almost home free. Truex wide in the corner. He looks to be in great shape, but the mistake that he made in one again cannot be replicated here in turn six. Truex is out of fuel. Truex is out. Now Chase can just cruise to victory lane. This spotter lets him know. He's out of fuel. Chase Elliott comes out of turn number seven. The crowd roars. They're going to see for the first time. At the Dawsonville pool room, the bell is going to ring. They ring the siren when Bill Elliott won, and now they ring the siren when Chase Elliott wins. And look who he's looking at. His dad's up on the spotter stand. And he runs out of gas at the furthest place away from the start-finish line. Oh, take a look at this. How about this? A seven-time champion. He's going to give him a push. His teammate at Hendrick Motorsports. And again, as I mentioned earlier, 250 wins for Hendrick Motorsports. And the 250th coming at the hands of Chase Elliott. He raced him clean again to the inside. Martin Trex Jr. has the advantage as they come up the turn. He'll see the white flag one more time around. Martin Trex Jr. on the inside looking for his first short track win as well as a trip to Miami to try to defend his championship. The 2017 champion. Will he get the bumper? Yes, he does. Here comes Legato. Legato on the inside. A drag race. They're sideways. And it's going to be Legato getting the win. Joey Legato fighting back. I am it, baby. And Kenson cleared by Legato. Maybe no. Kenza takes him out. Logano into the wall. Caution comes out and the crowd roars. Side by side for the lead as they go into three. McMurray a little higher through three and four. The advantage to the 24. White flag in the air one more time around for Gordon. Jeff Gordon looking for a storybook in there to the 2015 season. Out of three and four, this win's gonna punch his ticket to the championship four. Gordon wins yeah, at Martinsville. Yeah, yeah, that's how you fight. I mentioned earlier, Barney Visser, owner of the team. A heart attack, surgery, watching from home. Longtime girlfriend of Martin Truex Jr. has continued to battle cancer. Sherry Pollock's watching intently 
As they come to the final lap, one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. The gap still a half a second. Martin Truex Jr., Kyle Busch running one and two. For the final time, they'll go down the back stretch. Martin Truex Jr., 12 years in the Cup Series, and his roller coaster career is finally reaching the peak. Putting an exclamation point on a near perfect season. Mark Truex Jr. is the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champion. The white flag will go in the air. White flag coming back no matter what by 20. No One more time around. Mark. Kyle Busch missed the first 11 races of the season with a broken leg and a broken foot after an accident at Daytona. It's by 20. Down the back stretch. His closest competitor, just a dot in the rearview mirror. Through three and four. No one has battled through as much pain and had as much perseverance as 30-year-old Kyle Busch. Tonight he earns his first cup title. Kyle Busch, the 2015 NASCAR Sprint Cup champion. Oh my God. Look at me, Larry. Ten to go. They come into the restart zone. Kyle Larson, the outside. Carl Edwards on the inside. Green flag back in the air. They're blocking. Good go down low. Carl Edwards into the wall. He got tagged by the 22. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big hits by the 19. And the caution comes back out again. Great restarts by both the 48 and the 22. Kyle Larson drops back to second, but he fights back on the outside. Here comes the four. Kevin Harvick racing that 22 hard. Come on, baby. Come on. Jimmy Johnson out front. They pass the overtime line. You know, half a lane higher. Larson looking at the high side. This time by, white flag in the air, one more time around from Miami. Jimmy Johnson has never won at Homestead Miami Speedway, but he's never been in a position where he's had to win for a championship. Down the back stretch he goes. A half a lap away from the championship. Jimmy Johnson through three and four. Make room, Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt. There's another seven-time champ. Jimmy Johnson wins his seventh NASCAR oh Sprint Cup Championship. Oh